Hi, it's Miss Miller from NES, and we are going to be playing 7-Up, the ball game. Now, there are three different versions to this game, and we are going to be playing the paper ball or sock version, okay? See other videos to play different ways. In this, game, in this activity, you're either going to have a, a piece of paper rolled up as a ball, or you're just going to take a pair of socks. Oh, these are cute. And you're going to roll them up as a ball, and I'm going to use the sock version. And the object of the game, there's seven different tasks to do. Number seven, you do seven times. Six Z's, six times. Five Z's, five times. Four Z's, four times. Three Z's, three times. Two Z's, twice. And one Z's, just one time. And what's great about this game is you can play it on your own. You can challenge a friend to play it. Or, and or, you can create your own throwing activities for the game. But we're going to follow the sock or paper version to start with. And for seven Z's, you're trying to get through each of those tasks without dropping the ball. You're just going to throw the ball up in the air. So I'm just going to throw underhand, tick, step, and talk, and catch seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, since I completed that task, I moved down to six Z's. If I had missed anywhere in the sevens, I would start over until I get seven in a row. Next up is six Z's. Throw the ball in the air and clap once before catching. Take step and talk. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm moving on to five Z's now. Again, if I had missed at any time, I would start again at six Z's until I got all six in a row. Five Z's. Throw the ball five times, catch on a low level. I think on your paper I left out low level, but we're going to try it on a low level. Tick, step, and talk. Get down low. Make that basket catch and pull it in. Tick, step, and talk. Two, pull it in. Tick, step, and talk. Get down low. Three, four, and five. All right, I'm to fourzies. Fourzies. I'm going to throw the ball up touch my head, and then my shoulders, and then catch. Take a step and tuck. Oh, Josh, I got it wrong. So I stay on four, so I get four in a row. Again, I want to touch head, shoulders, and then catch. Oh, my goodness. Take a step and tuck. Head, shoulders, catch. Yes. I need it four times. Take a step and tuck. Head, shoulders, catch. Yes. I think I clapped. Oh, gosh. Take a step and tuck. Head, shoulders, catch. And last one, ticks, step a duck, just catch. Woo! And now I'm on to three Z's. I got four of those in a row. For threes, I'm gonna throw the ball up the air and use my palm to strike it back in the air and catch it. So I'm not gonna throw it very high. Tick, step, and tuck, strike, catch. One. Notice I'm keep tick, step, and tuck, strike, catch. Two. And here's number three. Strike, catch, three. Nice. I got it. This is easier than paper, than the bottle flip for me. That was a challenging one. And now I'm down to twos. Twosies. On twosies, I'm going to throw it under my leg and catch twice. Throw it under my leg, catch twice. And for ones, throw the ball up in the air, spin around, and catch it once. This one's going to be a challenge for Mrs. Miller, I know. I might have to take my glasses off for this. Ready? Take a step and talk. Ooh. Oh, gosh, I'm not there yet. All right, take a step and talk. I got it. All right, nice job. So we got through all seven activities. We got through all seven activities. And now we're going to challenge ourselves to create our own. Now, if you're playing seven up game with a family member or friend, you would take turns. So let's say I'm playing with my friend. I would, and one of us goes, I'll go first, with seven catches, tick, step, and talk. If I miss, it is their turn to go. If they complete the sevens, seven Zs, they go to six Zs. If they complete five Zs, they go to five Zs. Let's say they miss on four Zs, then it comes back to my turn. What number am I on? I'm on number sevens. One, two, I'm playing against my friend now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now I go to sixties. It's not my friend's turn. Sixties, remember, was throw the ball in the air, clap once, and I go to sixties. Oh, I missed. 
it's my friend's turn again, and they're back on foursies. Oh no, they missed, comes back to me, I'm on sixies. Whoever goes through all the tasks in order, okay, without those misses, wins the game. So I hope you have a lot of fun with seven up the ball game, playing it the sock version. And if you want to challenge yourself, try it with a tennis ball or a bouncy ball. All right, have a lot of fun. Keep moving.